Black people in the endless struggle, slaves in their mind, they waking up from lost time, they 400 years behind. When life was whips and chains, being free seems sublime, but now that we free, whips and chains just consume our mind, uh. Niggas still stuck in the same cycles, still worshiping the same idols, genocide triggering our rappers, dropping the same titles, money, sex, and drugs is what we call the hood bible, trifling. Kinda stifling, like couldn't get them tassels, I just grab a rifle then Come to the celebration in the cutout way patient Rob every motherfucker in the graduation Congratulations, mind of a black man, so young and agitated Trying to get this bitch called life, but he stuck masturbating So Sunday morning he in church with the pastor praising And Monday morning back to E and J and purple hazing Looking in his future, all he see is balls and cages The story of the ages, black men young and ageless Cause you'll never age another day once you leave this God forsaken earth so for what it's worth, your daily bread. Hip hop names for real, for real for a minute, and it was like I was just going through a bunch of random ones, like names I'm not even going to mention because they were so ridiculous. It was like, but at the end of the day, like alumni, the word alumni always stood out to me because I was talking about going to college and stuff, and it just had that feeling of like, to me, the, the like the word alumni always came with that sense of accomplishment. You know, like you did something, and it's like, wow, I accomplished this. Like I'm an alumni. My definition of a real MC is. Somebody who can control a mic, somebody who can move a crowd, you know? You can control a mic, you can move it, like, controlling a mic, I feel like, I don't want that to get confused. And you can, it's, it's a big difference between holding a mic and rapping into it and controlling a mic. And if you're a real MC, then you know exactly what I mean. Ever since I was a kid, I just always just was drawn to just, like, rapping and singing. I was always in musicals. I learned how to spell my name by rapping when I was younger. Like, and I used to just make songs and everything. Like, you know, for those who don't know, my real name is Anthony. It's always like, yeah, I would make a song, like, A-N-T-H-O-N-Y. A-N-T, I would just keep saying it over and over again. And I just, after a while, I would just start writing my own little raps, you know. separates me from other rappers is I feel like I feel like my diversity you know I'm not you're not gonna you're, you're rarely gonna hear two songs where I sound exactly alike there's a lot of rappers where I hear more than two songs they sound exactly alike you know I had different moves like I had a conversation with my dad as far as like supporting me music wise you know it's mm -hmm. always been up and down but he's always been really supportive of me but one thing he said to me a couple years ago that kind of stuck with me it was like yeah, you know, I love your music, but it's like, I would have songs that'd be all like, da 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 I gotta get money, then I'll have conscious songs, you know, where it's just like, I wanna talk about saving the world and stuff, it's like, you guys gotta be 50 Cent or Kanye, and I'm like, man, I'm not either one of them, you know? Like, so I feel like what separates me from other rappers is basically like, my ability to express almost all of my emotions and all of my feelings, and a lot of other people's emotions and their feelings on stuff, you know what I mean? The Lump Phenomenon is coming very, very soon, you know, December 2012, I'm still getting the dates together and everything, it's currently November and shit, but December 2012, expect the next tape to come out.